Hey, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a Thursday. It is the Earthmaster, about uh, 4.45 p.m. local time here in California, August 15, 2024. Got a uh, 6.0 earthquake coming into the Taiwan area just now. Uh, looks like that's going to be in the same location as previous uh, earthquakes there. Uh, showing up on the Philippine station, also a Japan station. Uh, USGS has not picked up on this earthquake yet, but obviously has shown up on the Seismos and the G, uh, the uh, uh, EMSC model. The European models are picking up on this 6.0 earthquake there. And into the Taiwan area, this region has seen a recent uptick in earthquake activity. Uh, and more noticeably, a couple months back here, we had a major intense earthquake swarm in this area. Looks like things are starting to kick back up. Maybe might uh, be leading to something bigger, but for now, I mean, a 6.0, it's a pretty decent sized earthquake. So let's see what we got here. Uh, with the EMSC data as we head over there and check out their earthquake map uh, this is probably going to be at a preliminary magnitude let's see what we got here 6.0 Taiwan 16 kilometers deep the source parameters have not yet been reviewed by a seismologist so this is just coming in a little bit of uh, preliminary data from the various agencies that you see on here uh, everyone except for the USGS, and uh, I think eventually they'll pick up on uh, this earthquake that's coming in. It takes them a little while, uh, but as we can see here, this area has, had, has seen a lot of earthquake activity. I want to show you guys real quick while we're waiting on that um, since about the first of the year, um, far as uh, earthquake activity goes in this area. I want to show you guys real quick. We'll run over here to Taiwan which sits uh, right here in this area and this region can't see some big earthquakes goodness there's a major subduction zone here that's capable of producing some eights and uh, let's see what we got here i just want to show you guys the 4.5 since about the beginning of the year now there's our earthquake swarm i was talking about back in uh june may april seeing a lot of earthquake activity as well i mean that's a lot of magnitudes there above 4.5 uh, of course, the largest one in that sequence is going to be the 7.4, which uh, is roughly in that cluster as well. But uh, we've seen a handful of earthquake aftershocks following that 7.4 back in April. Uh, and then it calmed down for a little bit, a couple weeks there, between the first quakes and uh, the stirring up of activity. Uh, on the 22nd of April, we started seeing a bunch more sixes there for about a month or so. And, and then it went absolutely quiet. And now we got uh, further activity in this area today. As you can see there, uh, a decent amount of earthquakes, including the six pointer, which uh, is, you know, obviously there's some type of big earthquake coming in there to the Taiwan area. It was felt, Philippines picking it up, Japan station picking it up as well. Hard to say exactly uh, the magnitude, just looking at this uh, seismograph station here probably going to be uh, I'm guessing maybe just a little bit uh, probably around the six maybe a little bit higher than the six so just looking at those seismos because this is all preliminary data being put out here right now from the EMSC uh, yeah still 6.0 there in the red flag 14 kilometers deep for the Taiwan area <clears throat> Let me check out the uh, Tsunami Warning Center out here, see if we got anything. They're not picking up on it yet. Uh, surprise, but, uh, you know, occasionally it does take them a little while uh, to get the um, update out here, but goodness. <laughs> All right, so let's look at California real quick while we're waiting on that. Uh, Southern California area still waiting on some further larger scale movement out here. Of course, California has been in the news here recently with elevated earthquake activity not only in one location, but at various areas out here across the southern portion of the state, indicating regional high stress strain out here against the plate boundary. So we've seen probably uh, about five different specific areas of intense, not, well, earthquake activity and even some fours out there and, and that 5.2 that stirred up here across the Bakersfield area. Uh, we're watching a couple regions north of the Garlock Fault shear zone here, which is in the red, uh, that 4.4 on the Puente Hills Thrust Fault. Um, a little bit of swarming going on now where that 3.9, 3.6 struck this morning. They keep downgrading it. <laughs> Originally, I think that came in as a 4.1, then a 3.9, now a 3.6. Uh, and then a separate swarming going on here across the Salton Sea. So we're still on earthquake watch out here 
in the Southern California area. Expect some further movement uh, coming up soon. Uh, yeah, still nothing showing up here. Goodness, what is going on? A little on the slow side here today. Uh, Philippines picking up that earthquake there that's coming in right now. Also uh, Japan. Again, this is coming off of a uh, supposed six-pointer there in the Taiwan area. Let me zoom back over here. This is all preliminary data coming in, which has not been reviewed yet by a seismologist. But obviously it was a felt earthquake. And, um, you know, we see it there on the, on the seismos. Uh, population map out there looks like... Yeah, they're right next to the very populated city. Of course, this isn't any different than where we've seen uh, all that uh, earthquake activity uh, back in April and May. This is that swarm. We're talking about 203 earthquakes of decent magnitudes out here. We're, we're kind of looking at maybe seeing something larger out here following all these events. It kind of reminded me of the 2011 Japan big tsunami and 9.1 earthquake sequence. Um, but it never quite made it up there. We, we've seen that 7.4, and then we've seen a, a 6 and a whole bunch of 5s following that event. And then it just died down, and then it stirred back up towards the end of April and May with a bunch more elevated 5s and 6s. I'm sure you guys remember that. And it quieted down, and now it's stirring back up. So, just uh, got to watch and see what happens here, I suppose. A lot going on here across the Pacific Plate. Uh, and the USGS is a little on the slow side right now for getting that earthquake activity out. Normally they come in within a minute or two of the EMSC, but yeah, a little slow right there, at least on their USGS map. So I'm not for sure what's going on. Are they on the seven day? Nope. Are they on the one day 2.5? Nope. Texas area getting some earthquake activity. They just seen a, a 3.8 outside of Garden City. Uh, and I know what's out here outside of Snyder, Texas. There's a lot of these oil fields out here. Uh, and these uh, can uh, create a lot of earthquakes here. The damage is done below the surface. There's a whole process involved in the uh, wastewater injection process. Uh, you know, it might be some fracking operations out there as well. But, uh, you know, the, the North American plate here almost always under strain. And these weak areas are getting hit recently. Uh, indicating a uh, pressurized area out here against the um, the plate boundaries for the North American plate. And, of course, that includes California down here. Wow. That's a pretty lengthy um, seismograph wave right there on the Philippines station, also Japan as well. Don't think it's any bigger than a, you know, probably a 6.1 maybe is what I'm guessing. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be below that. Just looking at this uh, seismic wave that's coming in right now. Uh, it looks like a decent size one. Nothing going on. These earthquakes. There we go. 6.1. I was right. He upgraded it by one point. Uh, 6.1 coming in now from the USGS. Same area there in Taiwan. It has been reviewed by a seismologist. So there you go. 6.1. Uh, no tsunami with this uh, earthquake there. It have to be much bigger to get a displacement of water in that region. But we'll continue to keep an eye on this area. Now that things have stirred up. It started off with some five or 5.4 this morning couple other fours in the vicinity as well now we got a 6.1 so keep an eye on this area for some larger scale movement i mean we got a lot going on out here across the plates right now so stay safe we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening